Hey everyone and welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're breaking down Rashatov and I was going to coach this or give my perspective on it from him as a winner from a standpoint but he ends up not doing as well this round so we're going to break down why and the tips you can use at home. For those of you who don't know me, I've been on Philippine national team. Well, my name is Chris. I've been on Philippine national team for eight years. On I was on the AAU USA national team for a year. Um, I fought in three world championships. My highest rank in the world in 2013 was rank 23. I was 23rd highest ranked heavyweight in the world. Um, and now I just get my perspective on fights, help young up and coming fighters, maybe take away some ideas. Now that being said, I do try and cater my um, my coaching and my my perspective a little bit more toward intermediate level taekwondo fighters i think if you're a beginner you're still asking about how to throw a round kick you should probably go develop the round kick because no amount of strategy is going to work if you're using a stick and they have a sword or they have a you have a sword and they have a gun right so you want to make sure upgrade your weapons first focus on your technique have those kicks down the cut kick uh you want to have a good round kick good front leg especially in the modern game you want to have that stuff down before you go try and go into strategy because having a good cut kick will carry you a lot further than knowing all the strategies and tactics and all this background chest level knowledge stuff because none of that works if you don't have a cut kick or a, a good front leg for the game so go develop that first if that's where you are and then come back after that so you can apply some of these strategies so they're using uh something i did notice on this tournament was they're using kp and p for those of you guys who don't know they're in taekwondo there are two types of armors there's a KPMP armor, which we're using now, and there's Dado. KPMP, generally, you have to have a lot more direct impact to make it score. I personally had a hard time scoring on KPMP than I did on Dado. And on Dado, it allows for a little bit more of those glancing stuff. A little of those, um, what, what people complain about, the, the phantom kicks. I think they're adjusting that now. They're trying to fix it, but some of those still get in. Nice back kick here. So some kind of uh, Rashatov, the Uleg Beck. Uh, Rajtav is the Olympian, Olympic gold medalist. Jin, I have not watched before. He is new, um, but he does well this round. And this back kick incoming is... Generally, I'd be like, oh, you have to scout this guy. But everyone knows Rajtav. This guy's this guy's one. He uses his front leg right a lot. And so trapping, that kind of thing is kind of expected. Rajtav wins because he's very accurate with his kicks. He has a deadly, deadly back kick. His spin kick to the body very good at generally generally very good at getting through the armors but you can see Jin here blocking it and um, spin kicks are four points to the body so his ability to set that up and kind of lull his opponents into attacking his front side so that way he uses his uh, he can use his spin kick is very good very nice here to of so Jin here this is a nice little setup because we know that you know front leg is going to come out it's modern taekwondo what, what other leg is going to come out most it's, i would say like 80 70 80 percent of the time it's going to be your front leg right so this little move here by Jin is pretty cool he's going to step in to jam it up jam that front leg i mean he slides in closes the distance gives Ulug back less time to react steps in um, this kind of got through but didn't score because there's not enough power generated KPNP system data system maybe is scored and then right after that's done shoves his leg up the middle nice little axe cue to the face there good setup fantastic setup here by Korea rushed off down by this much you know in, in the newer rules right two thirds uh, you have to win two out of three rounds you might be thinking maybe I'll try and win this next round let's extract some information for right now that was pretty close oh actually got him so good Left leg follow up in the clinch. Kind of a big determiner between. Oh, very nice try by Korea. They jam up that front leg. Same move as before. Just jam up that front leg. Go for the body. Or go for the head. Little front leg fencing here. Rajatov trying to push the fight now because he's down, obviously. One of those glancing blows. And Korea good, doing a good job not laying up. For the old. For you guys who are watching, even though you're ahead, don't fix or don't don't change what's working, right? So if you're you're ahead because you're on offense, keep fighting on offense, gain more points. Rasatov here changing changing targets. Excellent job. Good job with his left there to try and go for the head. Does this hit? Ooh, it's oh I can see why. So he made the call. Uh, obviously it didn't hit because of the video replay, but it felt like it could have because the shoulder sometimes feels like a head when you're kicking it. Try for the jump spin. Korea here doing a great job. Korea's 
I think whole game plan here is to just nullify the front leg, hit first in the clinch, and then dip. Get out. He does follow up sometimes, but the, the key kick right after the initial clinch is what's kind of screwing up uh, Uleg back here. Rush tough. Sponsorship stuff. Okay. I want you guys to notice this technique because I noticed Korea starts using this a lot here. He floats in that front leg. Sometimes it's fast. Sometimes he just floats it in. Cancels. Okay. It's not necessarily one of the ones I was looking for. Rosatrap trying to find a hole in the game. Give a different look. Good covers by Korea. Nothing too crazy yet. Rashatov trying to... So one thing Rashatov does, and I think why it catches people, is he'll bring his leg up at one speed and then flip it at another speed. So it catches people off guard. So that's one of the weapons he uses every now and then. He has obviously has many weapons. He's won the Olympics. But here, watch. He brings his leg up slow, and then he'll, you'll see him whip it around fast, and Korea's able to block it. Yeah, once it's there, then he's then he's going. So that's a tip you guys can take away. He's trying to find a hole in the Korean defense here. So far, nothing yet. Excellent blocks by Korea, both to the backside. And it helps a lot, in my opinion, it helps a lot that it's KPNP. It has to be a really good, solid shot to the body. So as long as your covers are good, you're going to be able to keep that away from you. Boom. Nice punch, nice punch. No point, happens. Oh, got past the armor on the reset. Going in for that step again. He's making Rashidov very hesitant. So that step, step push kick, is making Rashidov hesitant on committing to the cancel because if he fakes and he gets the cancel wrong, there's a inside axe kick waiting for him. So here you can see it like he does a step. Rashidov doesn't even lift. He doesn't even defend himself because he's worried if he clashes there, he won't have the base to defend himself properly. So. Rajadev here is not really sure how to approach this kind of situation. At least, at least it looks like it. I mean, the game plan so far is try and find a hole from the outer game. I think a, a, something that's subtle that you may not be noticing is Korea here is doing... So in order, so let's rewind. In order to trap someone with a back kick, they have to fully, generally speaking, they have to fully commit to the kick because you need their the forward momentum plus your spin and the and your kick into the your kick into them. The spin kick is going to be enough to score. I mean, you can score normally without the spin, etc. But it helps accentuate the score. Rashidov is also very good at making sure, if you guys can see my mouse here, at aiming for this part of the hogu, which most people don't block because when they're blocking they're covering the giant portion they're covering this giant area right here with the arm because that's the main scoring area area Rashatov said you know what if everyone's blocking there why don't we just kick around it so he normally kicks here this area like lower lower section if you notice Jin here when he's blocking most of his blocks go to that instead of going across like as most people will do initially or do on reaction he blocks kind of low something very subtle Korea is doing is in order, so in, once again, in order to do that, they have to purposely, you have to be fully committed to the kick, etc., or fully committed to the motion. So, people, if you're charging with a cancel to try and beat it, if you spin under it, that's still the same forward momentum. What Korea is doing is he has these non committal cuts that are occupying the middle space. I'll see if I can find a clip here that's occupying the middle space. And so, if Rashtov spins on that, it's easy to, uh, to cut. And if he doesn't spin on it, he can just extend as a normal flick kick, as a normal flick front leg to the body. So, boom, you're right there. So here, very non-committal. You can see him leaning back. Not much effort here. Even on that first kick, it's like very gentle. And if Rashidov spins, he can shoot it out really fast, stop that, stop the back kick. And if he doesn't move, he can just shoot it to the front, just like he did here. Rashidov now trying to counter. He's able to sneak it in there. And obviously, you can't do that every single time, but that's something in the mix. I think he just... Did he do it here? Or is this just cancel? No, it's just cancel. He's, he's like leaning back, and he's holding it up. Partially because he's ahead already. He doesn't want Rush to have to go in. But you can see that he's very... He's keeping his legs 
close to him like a shield when he cuts so that way in case there is a back kick he can extend properly same thing here like it you can i, I can't tell 100 percent because of the angle but you can see he's bringing it up keeping me away bringing it up bringing it up kind of gentle and close in case roger tough spins then he can um he can cut him in the hip and make him fall over etc but you can tell he's not he's not um He's not very committed on those kicks. He's just occupying the middle space. There's another one. There's another one. This is, this is what I'm talking about. He's occupying the middle space. If Rashatov spins, it's gentle enough where he can still execute, he can still cut. If Rashatov doesn't spin, he can extend into a kick. How do you beat something like this? Well, you can try and cancel on top and then flick. You can try and cancel up and then kick underneath as their leg is up. But what does Korea do that counters that already? He steps in if you counter, if you cancel. So right, you're doing, you're, you're battling, you're battling. If you cancel and he does that step axe kick, number one, it's hard to block that inside direct to the face axe kick. And number two, if you cancel and he steps in, then you're just jammed up. He's set because both his feet are on the floor. He can kick at you whenever he wants and your legs in the air. So good luck. Trying to land that spin. Was very, as, even though it's not scoring, the IQ on this guy is like 500. Like here at once. So he knows on this, he knows when it's up, he can't spin. He knows. He knows it can't spin, right? So what's he doing? He knows he needs to hit the four. There's a kick. And then right when the guy looks like he's putting it down, it's out of like, if you were to spin, like obviously right now, if you were to spin, he could execute it because you guys can see it. But it's too low for him to bring it back up and cut before he can get around. So here, you can see him wait for the timing. Boom. As it's down super low, that's when Rashatov spins on the wrong side, mind you. Like, this isn't even, this isn't something normal Taekwondo people fight. This is, like, spinning on a closed stance to the backside is, uh, oddly, that's actually how I lost Asian Championships in the final against, um, against Uzbekistan. Maybe they teach this. Um... But you can see that he's waiting for it to go down before he does his spin. The, fi the, the fight IQ on this guy is, like, through the roof here. Boom. And, you know, on Dado, he's, he's pissed because maybe he made contact. But, like I said, on KPNP, you need more of that direct push all the way through, not just the, the glancing blows aren't going to do it. You got to you gotta really push through, and it's, it's hard to score. You got to be accurate. So now he's pushing through. You can see this is, this is the exact technique I was talking about. Right, you can see it right here. Non-committal cuts, if he spins, if he spins, extend. Now, that time to get around that, obviously, you can do the not a bond that's expensive energy-wise, though. But there's only eight seconds, and what else are you going to do? He knows he's landing them, but it's not clean. And, and if you guys watch Jin's cover... You can see you can see the whole cover here. I, I, I wish I could freeze frame it. He's not blocking the middle like this. This is not a normal block. I don't know if you can see me. Blocking straight down the side of your body like this is not normal. Usually that thing is way across the middle. This side's way more exposed, and that's just where normal Taekwondo people block. This guy like made a special block or has been practicing countering this exact little bottom section here, so Rashidov can't hit where he normally hits. And he's spinning it away, so, you know, good on him. If Rashatov was half a second late on that, though, I think he might have scored because he was turned away on it. Jin not too sure what to do here. Throwing his own back kicks to throw him off. And now, this is just... Why Why is he throwing these weird doubles in the air? Occupying space. He's occupying the middle ground, so it's harder for Rashatov. If he were to kick, his legs are more likely to get tangled than if, legs, if his legs weren't there at all. Occupying the middle space. And then even here. Even here, he's still trying to shoot the cutout. I mean, obviously, he bailed on it. But you can see that's non-committal, occupy the middle space. If that spin comes out, he's throwing the cut. And, I mean, yeah, 0.63 seconds left. If you don't land the headshot right here, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And that was an excellent game by Korea. And, I mean, still my props to Rashtov for reading this mid-game, making the adjustment, and trying to time his main weapon after. It's just unfortunate that Jin came in with this nice set of tools they said okay you know what we're gonna battle him here if you want you need to occupy the middle space if he throws anything in that middle space you throw the cut if he doesn't you throw that front leg just like like that's part of the plan if he cancels which is the can the counter to what that is you're gonna step in and kick 
You step in and take it to his face, which he did in the first round, which kind of put the fear, I think, in Rush Tough, or maybe not the fear, but the respect, right? So great, great fight by both of these fighters here. Um, I did want to break down Rush Tough a little bit more, which I'm going to do in the future. As you guys can see here in the background, I'm like, I'm doing some research. I got quarterfinal here, quarterfinal here. He, Rush Tough has excellent footwork, great job pressing the fight, but overall great fight here. And um, I hope you guys stay tuned for next week. See you next time.